also, there's another really, really important caveat that I have to point out that I absolutely love about changing our rigs over to this body mounting style. Not only is it unique, cool looking, and and it does away with the, the banana clips, but it provides a ton of opportunity for you to do things with your rig when it comes to bodies. I actually was looking at this. This is the stock setup, right? It's got the stock components on it. And yeah, sure, when you put a stock body on it, you know, let me just go ahead and do that real quick. There's plenty of room, you know, for you to get this clip in. The, listen, even though they're both broken, which is ridiculous, but there's room for you to get the uh, banana clip in and do your thing, right? However, the second that you try to rhino line your body or even add some thickness to it when it comes to some of the more some of the more popular ways of uh, beefing up your body would be to put like uh, shoe goo or gorilla tape or different things like that in the body. And if you go too thick, then you're already struggling to get this thing, you know, the pin in, you know what I mean? Which is ridiculous, let alone, let's or let's say that you want to use something like these right here, you know, which go a long way in protecting the the holes, especially on the stock body, right? So if I tried to put these on, you know, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use that even with the stock body. So another really nice reason for actually doing away with this setup and going with this style where you can use these instead is that you're gonna be able to do a lot of really cool things. Now, another really cool thing that you can do is well, you can pick up the basher body, which if you look at this thing, I mean, you can see how thick this thing is. It's got, it's got some serious thickness. You know what I mean? There's no way I'd be able to even like, let's just say I put this on right here. Oh, I have that pad in there. So it's, it's going to be problematic trying to get it in there. I mean, even if I wanted to, I couldn't, I couldn't even run it. So like a lot of the reasons why you're not even able to get a basher body is because you run into problems with the stock composite body posts, right? So if you're interested in getting a basher body or adding thickness to your stock body, running this setup is gonna be clutch. Now, this is a really cool idea too that I noticed. Check this out. A lot of people also shy away from the basher body because they think that it's not the most, you know, it's there's not a ton of options as far as aesthetics. It's black, you know, it doesn't, I, I, th I think it looks tough and it looks cool as black, but a lot of people will go out of their way to put stickers and things like that on the basher body to give it, to give their vehicle a little bit more pizzazz. Well, why bother getting stickers and putting them on this thing when the stickers are all just going to peel off over time? Doesn't matter how good the stickers are. When you can literally, now that there's all this room for you to work with, take your stock body and simply set it over it. Boom, I can screw this in. No problem. I can screw this in, no problem. And now I've got a basher body acting as an inner lining for my stock Creighton body. Now I will I will say, this is a shout out to basher body, I hope they hear this, that this doesn't slide over and fit as snugly as I would like it to. Like by design, they've got some different things going on with their ridges or something. So. With this concept in mind, I would suggest Basher Body redesign this particular model, which is the same shape as the stock body. Do a couple of modifications to it to where this will really snugly slide right over it really smoothly and just like fit like a glove. And then you're going to be able to pitch your Basher Body as, as basically an instant liner, inner lining, kind of like rhino lining, but the Basher Body. So you have the option with the with this post set style setup you have the option to run it black with stickers and do your thing or you can just throw whatever whatever stock body you want right over top of it and with the versatility of these posts run whatever scheme you want beautiful stock body sticker look red or the stock body look, black, whatever. I just think that's huge, okay? Now, the other thing I wanted to point out really quickly is I wanted everybody to kind of pay really close attention to this point. 
I decided to go with two inch bolts, okay? These are thumb screws. You saw how I cut the thumb screws and I went with two inch. Two inch gives me quite a bit of, you know, especially with how tall these springs are. You know, these springs right here, which are the EXB Servo Saver springs, they're pretty tall springs, right? And I still have all this room right here. And the nice thing about these um, acorn caps is they've got nice depth to them. So you have a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, room to wiggle, wiggle room to play with, right? Now, for whatever reason on Amazon, I couldn't, I cannot find it. And I do like to like leave a link to you guys to the mod section on my marketplace, my Amazon marketplace. I like to leave links for the products, right? And obviously I've left links for everything. I, but I could not for, I have no idea why, but I cannot find two inch thumb screws on Amazon. I can find inch and a half thumb screws on Amazon, which is great. But if you want to get two inch, either, you know, Amazon needs to come around and provide them or you can go to your local Home Depot, or you can go to local your local Lowe's or your local hardware store to find two inch thumb screws. I'll leave a link down in the description um, because I cannot find the two inch thumb screws. I'll still leave a link to like, I don't know, hard, some hardware store where I can find them. Um, it's not the best thing in the world because I love it when I can provide links to my Amazon store, that way it's all in one place, but I'll still do it anyway. But anyway, the point that I wanted to make is this. Changing over to these is a clutch upgrade, irregardless of this shock absorption, right? I decided to go pretty tall. You know, you can see that that rides a lot higher than how high that rides. Basically, this flat point right here is a good half inch lower. And because of that, I had to put a pad in the top of my basher body. And that's okay, because I'm fine with that now. With my, with my setup, I have the, the cushion. It's basically a pad that runs about right there. And it, it's fine because I wanted to take advantage of the full half inch of extra play with this cushion. And I'm banking on, you know, with the spring and I'm banking on the strength of the post to not bend or to rip off my M2C body mounts. You know what I mean? However, you can do this concept and still get this much play of room for the versatility of, of putting different bodies on and putting bodies on top of each other. Like for example, right here, let's say you have this stock body right here from, um, you know, from Arva, you have the stock body. Well, I was seriously considering going and putting rhino lining on the bottom of this one, but now I'm not going to, because I could totally just throw this right on top of it. And I have plenty of room, plenty of room right here to go ahead and just put my my mounts on and now I can run black or red and I don't have to go through the stresses of either shoe gooing this or rhino lining it. I can keep it flimsy and just put it right on top. So, but anyway, what I wanted to say is it's your choice. If you want to go two inches or inch and a half, if you want to go inch and a half with these instead of two inches, that's totally fine. You know, let's just say you like the idea of your body riding a little bit lower down and you don't want to put a pad like I did in there to, to basically, you know, um, you're going to be giving up a half inch of squeeze from the shock spring. And right now I like the idea of maximizing the shock spring. I just want to see how that plays out. However, the shock spring by its design is really doing two things. A, it's providing shock mitigation, but it's also making it to where this thing locks into place so I can unscrew the cap because of this dynamic of this concept, as you know, and you watched in the video, you can still take advantage of that if you were to clip this spring in half, okay, and run with an inch and a half um, bolt. So go with an inch and a half, you're going to end up using cutting this spring in half, or just order yourself some springs that are not 20 millimeters, find some springs that are 10 millimeters tall, okay, then you're going to have this much distance of play for your acorn screw or your acorn cap, but you just got a smaller spring, you're still going to have some, you know, spring mitigation and whatnot. But the biggest reason why you'd want to do this is you, you just want to go with this style instead of going with the banana clips. Now I am going to put in my Amazon storefront. I did find thumb screws at inch and a half. So pay attention if you're doing this mod and you want to go with the inch and a half, that's fine. They'll be there. But if you want to go with the two inch, you're going to have to pay close attention and look down in the description and see that I left a different post for two inch thumb screws to like a different hardware store. 
because I can't find them on Amazon for whatever reason. If I ever do find them on Amazon, I will add them to my storefront and you'll be able to see. But just keep in mind, if you jump to my storefront to buy the springs, to buy the acorn cap screws, to buy this piece right here that screws down, which actually they're right here, bag of 20. I did get them in. If you end up picking those up, you know what I mean? Um, and you're more interested in running this whole mod with a little bit lower profile, then you only need to buy two springs if you plan on nipping them. You know, you'll basically take a heavy duty set of snips and you'll go at the halfway point and you'll snip it. It might be hard to do that, I don't know. Those are pretty heavy duty springs. Or you can just buy, a, I'll even, I'll see if I can't find 10 millimeter tall springs and put them in the, in, in the mod section as well. But anyway, I wanted to say all that and just get that clear and make sure that you guys are aware that you can run this mod with inch and a half screws and also the beauty of the mod adds so much versatility to the bodies you can put on because you're not running into this little issue where you've got literally like two millimeters of play here which totally jacks up your i don't know your desires to put thicker bodies on so so anyway i mean this this concept of running with um all this all this thickness of option makes the basher body so much more appealing so wanted to point that out. All right, well, anyway guys, so this was sort of an addendum added video. Way, I'll probably make my own separate video now regarding all this information, just to kind of as a part two of this body mount setup that I'm excited about. I will definitely report to you guys the details and the successes and the failures of it. It's new, it's a new idea. Yeah, I built it with the idea of it being strong, but for all I know, it could end up, the shock absorption may end up not preventing a massive roof landing from ripping the M2C body mounts off the tower for all I know, or something like that. I don't know. I mean, so long as it can stand, withstand as durable of a landing as the composite ones with a basher body and keep the basher body from just ultimately every time you rip it and land on your roof. Because, you know, I mean, I'm not that great of a driver. I land on my roof all the time, unfortunately. I wish I was better. I'm not like a rich duper basher or RC Dude 81 that just every single time that vehicle flies up into the air, it does like some, you know, super cat acrobatics and it will land on its feet no matter what, because those guys are just, I mean, kudos to them. They're just good at driving their rigs. And unfortunately I'm not. So if I land on my roof or something like that, I, I want my, my, my day to not end out in the bash field. Anyway, all right guys, well, that's an end of this video. I'll let you go and uh, see you on the next one. East Tactics, out.